now all the national rules regulations and the legislations we have completed almost if anything is left that we will complete in the end part of this particular unit but now for now being we are moving moving ahead to the international actions for the environment what are the international actions taken by the united nation so what is the united nation i hope you all know united nation is a kind of assembly for all the major countries of the world so all the problems as well as the developments are discussed there in the united nation so in the very first time stockholm conference was held in the year of 1972 so 26 principles and outcomes were decided under this stockholm conference and this was called as the united nations conference on the human environment this was the name of that particular conference and slogan decided for that conference was only one earth so all the countries can come together and take some needful actions according to the changing climate or according to the problems arising then in the year of that same 1972 unep was formed so under the body of united nation united nations environmental program was launched in the year of 1972 this is the result of the same conference so the headquarter of this unep you can find out in the nairobi kenya so that was the headquarter of the unep then in the year of 1983 one brutland commission was done in which the world commission of environment and development this was the name of the commission that was developed in the year of 1983 and the place where it is developed that is the brutland that's why this is also called as brutland commission so in the year 1983 this commission was developed and in the year 1987 they published a report and on that report the heading of the report was our common future so all the things are important here you have to remember all the things here so this was the first report our common future in which the sustainable world was used for time so that we have also discussed in the unit 1 as well after the year this 1987 another major development was done in the uh, same unep and the summit one summit was organized there that summit was called as earth summit this was held in the year of 1992 and this was placed in the rio brazil so this is also called as rio summit because the place of this summit was rio similar to this brutland commission so then united nations conference on environment and development taken place there and four outcomes were decided you can say or achieved not achieved decided or uh, in the given target range they have decided the four different total outcomes the first outcome here is the convention on biological diversity which is also called as cbd then convention on combat desertification ccd that is also result of this particular earth summit then convention on climate change that is the third summit and then last was the agenda 21 so these all four were the outcomes of these rio summit so the name of all these four are very important remember them for the exam perspective now what was the agenda 21 one by one we have to discuss all those different things what is the agenda 21 so it is a non binding action plan of the united nations with regard to sustainable development so non binding means it is not legally bound not legally bound means all the countries of the united nations are not uh, required to compulsorily follow these different binding rules or action plan so it is a kind of voluntary approach if any country wants to follow so they can follow if no one wants to follow or any country is not uh, thinking that this particular thing is important so that can also neglect these rules so it is a kind of non binding action plan so the united nations think of these all different agenda 21 21 agendas were there and the for the sustainable development of all the things of the earth so it is a product of the earth summit un conference on environment and development that we have already seen held in the rio de janeiro in the year of 1992 that was situated in brazil 
then it is an action agenda for the united nation other multilateral organizations and the individual governments around the world that can be executed at local national and global levels and the 21 in the agenda 21 refers here to the 21st century so agenda 21 is why it is agenda 21 because this was developed in the year of 21st century that's why the name here is the agenda 21 So I hope the agenda 21 is important points are clear to you. The another outcome of the Earth Summit or this Rio Summit was Convention on Climate Change, which is also called as Triple C. So UNFCC, United Nations, are uh, the Convention on Climate Change is an acronym for the United Nations Framework on Convention on Climate Change. So UNFCC, this was came into the force on 21st of March, 1994. It has been ratified by the 197 countries. So 197 countries total agreed on sign of this particular Convention on Climate Change, and is called to have a near universal membership. The countries that have ratified the Convention are called as the UNFCC. conference of parties which is also called as cop cop so cop was what cop are the countries which have participated in this unfcc program or ccc program united nations framework convention on the climate change so what they have decided in this particular convention that every year we will have a meeting meeting of what meeting of all the conference of parties who have ratified or accepted the uh, these changes of the convention on climate change so the very first time in the year of 1995 the very next year of the 1994 the first cop was held in the berlin germany and the cop 8 was held in the new delhi in the year of 2002 so every year they will find some city and every year the conference of the parties taking place in these particular con uh, countries so after that we have cop number 26 that was held in the glasgow very recent cop you can say then after that uk cop 27 was originally accepted to take place in november 2021 but was moved to year 2022 so maybe in upcoming november the cop 27 will take place rescheduling of the cop 26 which was not held in the last year from 2020 to 2021 and this place of the cop 27 is decided now that is the sharm el sheikh of the city of the egypt so here the conference of parties meeting will take place then we have the cmp cmp is what cmp is the conference meeting of parties started afterwards of the kyoto protocol of the 2005 so they thought that we need another kind of modification here so after the kyoto protocol they have added these or started these cmp conference meeting of the parties then what is the read read here is the reduction emission from deforestation and forest degradation so in cop 13 bali so bali is a rich biodiversity country it is having huge amount of greenery as well so here in cop 13 the bali indonesia 2007 bulk action plan and read implemented in that particular area and read came with the objective of mitigating of climate change to enhance forest management and in developing countries it came into force in the year of 2008 so that was all about the read plan cmp plan and cop plan under the hood of or under the thing of triple c that is the convention on climate change i hope this is clear to you <clears throat> 